she's a little nervous. Yeah? Okay. So you're gonna have to be patient with her, okay? I got it. Nothing too provocative. We're selling lingerie, so sensual and classy. Okay, got it. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, are you sure that Ivy's ready for this? Yeah. She said she was up for anything when I rehired her. Yeah, I know, and you're putting that to the test. Well, it's not like I'm asking her to take off her clothes in front of the camera. I mean, you, that's exactly what you're asking well, her no, to do. <laughs> so bad. But, you know, I mean, especially for somebody like Ivy, this is it's kind of a big deal. You okay? You need a pep talk? Uh, actually, you know what? I think I need my head examined because I have no idea what I'm doing. What are you... Okay, first off, you look smoking hot. Second, you're standing up to Steffi and I find that extremely sexy. And third, you look extremely hot. Why? You already said it. Well, I know, but it bears repeating, you know? What if I... What if I screw this whole thing up? What if what? I freeze out there? I... No. I are you not. ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, actually... Can I just ask you, why is Caroline here? Who else is coming oh, down? Oh, she just wants to see how the initial designs photograph. And no one else, it's just us. Right. You, you mean she wants to see how I photograph? No. No. Everyone is pulling for you, babe. Right, Steffi? We are. Thank you. Okay. We ready? Yeah, hey, so this is her first photo shoot for the bedroom line, so if we could just, you know. No, oh, yeah, we know. we're going to have a lot of fun, guys. You look beautiful, by the way. You wait till the robe comes off. Okay, did you get my notes? Uh, you know yeah, what we're looking for. yeah, I did. I know exactly what we're looking for. Okay, then, everyone, it's magic time. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, Ivy, loosen up. Just sell the line. Yep, I'm trying. Try a little harder. Photographers like Sean don't come cheap. Okay, how's it? Think intimacy. Think you're in a bedroom with Wyatt, and you're showing off this piece to him. Sexy little number. Sensual. Yeah, just move your body. Just go with the flow. Okay. Ivy, what's wrong? All right, all right enough. We're done. Enough. What are, you, enough. what are you doing? We're in the middle of a shoot. Shoot's over. What? Uh, everybody, can you excuse us, please? Give us a minute. Thank you. I'm not letting this go on any longer. The photo shoot? The photo shoot, Ivy modeling the bedroom line, but especially this rivalry between you and Ivy. It's got to stop today, Steffi. Have you heard from him? We all really miss him. We don't miss Thomas as much as you do, though, right? Oh, you'd be surprised. What's this about missing Thomas? What thing is strange to me? And look, Charlie, if Ridge won't tell me what's going on, maybe Thomas will. Is that who you're texting? There has got to be more to why Ridge suddenly banishes Tom to Paris. You mean than... more than Ridge is saying? Yes. Yeah. Right. You think it's curious, too, don't you, Columbo? Thank you, Christine. We'll see you tomorrow. So what's this about missing Thomas? Well, Thomas is in Paris, and all the models are missing him. Oh, of course they are, because he's so handsome and charming, just like his father. Thomas is nothing like me. Oh, you forced men are all alike. You can have any woman you want. There are some lines a man should never cross. Are we still talking about Thomas? 
I mean it. This ends today. Liam, what? L listen to me. You can't make Ivy parade around in her underwear when you know she's this uncomfortable. I'm not making her. If this isn't her thing... You know it's not her thing, Steffi. That, that's why you couldn't resist. Whoa. Why are you calling me out? I'm not... I'm not calling you out. I'm trying to help you see where this is coming from. This all goes back to Allie's death and the video, and we know the circumstances. We know what Ivy did. It was wrong and it was hurtful. But what you're doing now, Steffi, is wrong and hurtful. It's not, it's not you, Steph. This is not either of you. And that's why this, this feuding, this constant feuding has to stop because you're both better than this. You're strong and you're brave and you're smart and you're talented like all of the Forrester women before you. Be the royalty you were meant to be for both your sex. The way I see it, you can move on, finally, or you can just keep clinging to what's already happened and slowly let it eat away at you while you do everything you can to get back at each other. I mean, is that, is that really the life you want? No. Is it what you want? Liam, no. It's not, you know it's not. Everybody does. It's not who you are, Steffi. I've apologized to you for everything, for the video, for losing my way, and I get it. Maybe you don't want to hear it, or maybe you think that I'm just going through the motions, Where but are you? I'm not. Because that's, that's how it felt. Like, you're just saying all the right things to get your job back, and that's why I can't trust you. And that's why you said you fired me in the first place. I know losing Hallie did something to you. All the guilt, feeling like you failed her. I feel that too. We all do. Not to the lengths Ivy did. She blackmailed me. Steffi, I've admitted to taking that to the extreme. Yeah, you went over my head. Right. You pressured my grandfather to rehire you. How am I not going to let that go? So you're admitting to this lingerie shoot being about revenge. Oh. Okay, yes and no. But I knew this would be a really good opportunity for you. And most women would just jump at the chance. Yeah, but I'm not one of those women, Steffi, and you know that. Okay. Okay. But actually, believe it or not, this is good. This is this is progress. You know why, guys? Because we're actually talking about the real issues. I mean, look at you. You have so many positive attributes to show the world. Could you, you imagine what you could accomplish if you just work together, if you cooperate and set your differences aside? I'm not just talking about at work, by the way. I mean, at home, in the family, in your, in your personal lives. This is a real chance to turn away from hurtful choices and rise to the occasion, because make no mistake, you are both exceptional women. You're leaders. And you also happen to be cousins. So be that. Be your best selves and more. So seriously, what is Thomas doing in Paris? He's uh, designing, observing, maybe contemplating some things he's done in his life, hopefully. Are you angry with him? Angry? I don't know. Fathers and sons, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I, I know that you and Thomas have had your issues in the past, and we as parents cannot be perfect. <laughs> we all make mistakes. But you know, what, what the good thing is, is that you're going to get to do it all over again, you know? Different choices, better choices, maybe different mistakes. <laughs> you get to start over with Caroline. No baggage. All hail the great uniter. Here, here. I really, really wouldn't go that far. Whoa. Oh, come on now, I would. I mean, the way that you, uh, you brought Steffi and Ivy together, you know, being a, pe <clears throat> a peacemaker, you know, especially when no one else. <clears throat> Caroline, are you okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, no, mm -hmm. excuse me. Sorry. What? Hey, you. What was that about? Well, I don't know, but uh, she's been doing a lot of that lately. What? Yeah, running off to the bathroom with a upset tummy. Is there a, like a stomach thing going around? Because I haven't uh, heard Enough anything. that I know of. Uh, hey, Pammy. Pam. Hurt the Pam. Oh, 
What, are you talking to me? Yeah, uh, we were just wondering if there was a, a stomach bug uh, going around the executive suite. Why? Caroline running out like she did. Charlie said she's been having an upset stomach lately. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hold that thought. Yeah. Charlie. Yeah, I would. What? Oh. what? Guys. not gonna read us the riot act too. Hey, my brother's the one angling for sainthood, all right? Though I gotta admit in this moment, he's right. It's time for you two to make peace. Well, do you think that's what we've done? Sort of feels that way. Listen, I'm gonna give you guys some time to talk alone, but first, I, I am so sorry that I pushed you. No, I'm I should have stayed the hell out of it. I'm hey, sorry. No, you were just trying to help me. Really, it's fine. In some ways, they aren't that different. Don't let them he say that. Yeah, <laughs> we have a Wyatt trying to be strong, independent men. Yeah. So, yeah. So are we really doing this? Are we pretending just to make them happy? So, Katie, you really think that there is such a thing as a fresh start? Uh, I'm guessing by the way you say that, you don't think no, so? No, I don't mean, I don't mean anything by it. It just it is, is that what you and Bill have? You have a fresh start? Why do you keep bringing this back to me and Bill? I, what are you asking? Does our past ever rear its ugly head? I'm asking because you were married and then you divorced him rightly so and then you married him again, so I'm confused. I'm well aware of the events of my past, yes. Mm -hmm. And you won't have to worry about that with Caroline. You'll never have to be on that merry-go-round because nothing will ever come between you two. I wouldn't let it. So, boy or girl? I don't know. Boy or girl? I mean, if it's a boy, I'm sure he'll be... Handsome like his father with an eye for the ladies. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I mean, Caroline's not even pregnant, right? Where the hell did you guys rush off to? Pammy has this wacky idea. Pammy has this brilliant idea. Uh, it, it's more of a hunch, really. But women just sort of have a sixth sense about this kind of thing. What kind of thing? My little fruit tart thinks that Caroline might be pregnant. Well, think about it, Liam. I mean, she and Rich have been trying for a baby, right? And she's now been having all these bouts of nausea suddenly. I think that calls for a home pregnancy. That's Pam. Guys, this is this is really not our business. I mean, if Caroline is Caroline is pregnant. Well, how great would that be? How Fun. great would what be? Why is everybody being so quiet? Well, because Liam just wanted to ask you something. How are you feeling? I don't know. I must have eaten something kind of funky for breakfast, so. Ugh. Really? Um, hey, you sure that's, that's all it was? I mean, you're looking a little pale. Yeah, I'm fine. Huh? I just splashed some water on my face and then haven't had a chance to touch it up. I mean, maybe you should you should sit down and I can go get you some water. Or maybe what would be better is some lemon balm tea, because I hear that's really good for people. Queasy. Who are... It's good when you're queasy. It's mm. good for that. Well, I'm not queasy. So thank you, Dr. Spencer and Nurse Douglas. Charlie. Mm -hmm. Caroline, when you were in the ladies' room, Charlie and I made a little dash to the pharmacy. Uh, <clears throat> aren't you kind of curious as to, as to why? I mean, no, not really. I kind of already know why, and it's super thoughtful of you guys, but, um, <clears throat> I really don't want any medicine. That's, well, that's the thing. It's, it's, it's not really medicine. It's, it's, um, well, it's a well, whole pregnancy test. <laughs> Uh, 
I promised to my wife I'd give her a child and a family. And Rich Forrester always keeps his promises. Rich Forrester always tries to keep his promises. Well, you know what they say. You know, a baby on the way strengthens the bond between two people. How does Thomas feel about all this? Thomas? I'm just thinking that maybe that's one of the reasons why he went to Paris. I mean, maybe he's having a hard time dealing with everything that his father's new marriage entails. So to answer your question, boy or girl, it, it doesn't matter. I just want the kid to be healthy. And very soon we'll be announcing that we're expecting. I, I really am sorry about ruining the shoots. No, no, you shouldn't be sorry. I went too far. I went too far by threatening you with the video. OK, can we just, we never mention the video ever again. Gladly. Still amazed by Liam taking such a strong stand. Well, I think it was more than just taking a stand. It was about helping you too. You think so. he ever gets tired of being right? Oh, and it's, it's actually sickening. It is. It? <laughs> a pregnancy test. Well, you and Rich have been trying for a baby, so what you thought was food poisoning was probably just morning sickness. Come on, little potential mama to be. Don't you really want to know? <laughs> this is crazy, you guys. Uh, no, no, it's not, actually. Um, home pregnancy tests are actually very accurate. Unless, of course, you test too early, and then you might not have sufficient HCG to get an accurate result. How However, do you we... even know that? Oh, wait. Is there... I don't know, some reason you wouldn't want to know. Oh, are, are you maybe s still on birth control? OK, first of all, let me be clear. This was not my idea, and I know that it's very personal. But I know you want to have a kid with Rich. And wouldn't it be kind of fun to find out right here, right now with us that you're carrying his baby? I mean, isn't there some part of you that wants to end the suspense? OK. there. There is no suspense, and I, I don't need to take a pregnancy test. Well, why not? Because I don't, Pam! I'm so sorry. I don't know where that came from, but a pregnancy test is just a giant waste of time. Wait, wait, so... wait, 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 oh. wait. <laughs> Caroline, you, are you pregnant? <laughs> What's going on? Ah, oh, man. Ridge, this is not Caroline's fault. But, um, I think we figured out your secret. Yeah. <laughs> You're pregnant. You and Caroline are having a baby. <laughs> <laughs>